Hi, welcome back to Humble Homemaking. Yes, I do wear glasses, but no, I'm not gonna wear these for the video because there's so much glare. And I was a cheapskate when I got them and I was like, no, I don't need the anti-glare. I don't wanna pay the extra, whatever, 20, 30 bucks. Any lighting that I seem to try out does not work. So these bad boys are coming off. Let's get into the video. Today's video is all about cleaning tools that are not real cleaning tools at all. The first cleaning tool, old credit cards and old gift cards. These work great for scraping anything off of pots and pans. This has been retired now to a cleaning card. And I don't have to pay for one of these because this is free. Even though these were more than likely used to spend, 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 you can save, save, save by reusing them for cleaning. These work great in the bathrooms for cleaning around the faucets. These work great for cleaning around the faucets in the kitchen. Cleaning any hard to reach spots on the stove. For my laundry one, I use that for helping to clean off stains. So save these next time you're replacing your toothbrush. Put your old one underneath the sink, label it somehow, wrap it in duct tape right on it so that nobody tries to replace it back into the toothbrush holder. And you have yourself a scrubbing tool for free. The third cleaning tool filters your coffee grounds and cleans your windows and glass without leaving spots or fingerprints or little specks of dust, which drive me crazy. So these work great for cleaning windows because they don't leave those streaks or dust spots. So use a coffee filter next time you're cleaning your windows or glass. The fourth cleaning tool I have for you, socks. You know those annoying socks that lose their hair in the laundry or the socks that just have holes in them and they're just dirty and gross? Turn those old socks into dusters. These work awesome for dusting because you can just put it on your hand and, and get all the little hard to reach spots on top of fan blades, on top of window sills, on top of door frames. This gets it all. These work awesome. The fifth thing is old t-shirts. Just cut it up into pieces of rags and I use microfiber cloths for all of my other cleaning except for the bathroom where these come in handy. I don't feel so bad throwing these out once they get too gross and dirty and these are super easy to bleach in the washer. So if your old t-shirts get holes in them or they're just beyond repair or they're just gross and dirty, turn them into cleaning rags, make them useful. The final thing I have for you is tin foil. What is this good for? Well. What if you don't have a scouring pad? What do you do? Just get a piece of tin foil, rumple it up, and now you have a scouring pad. And then those little ridges and stuff work great for scouring. And, and then just toss it into your recycling bin when you're done. Concludes my list, so if you liked this video, like, comment, and if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe with the little notification bell and share this video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.